Joel Weinkoop Show. We're coming to you live from Heroes Haven, right here on Gun Highway. Anthony, how you doing? I'm doing well. How you doing, buddy? Good. It's my good friend, Mr. Anthony Wayne. Now, Anthony and I have worked on a lot of things together. Anthony, tell me some of the stuff we worked together on. Oh, wow. Dark Dimensions. Um, Dark Dimensions. Currently, Hell's Bounty. Hell's Bonnie by a uh, Christian cousin. Christian and, cousin and Ryan Workman. And J Jim Hauk, too. And your phone is going off. My phone's going off, yeah. And what else? Wow, we've done. Oh, uh, wow. It's so many. It's oh, well, Rendezvous Room 215. Rendezvous Room, two, uh, room 215. Yep. Um, Survivors of Remick. Survivors of Remick. Yep. Yeah, we've done quite a bit. Um, we have done quite a bit. And so, there's so many that just leave your mind. There's so many and, of them. And now tell the folks about the Joel Weinkoop Show. The Joel Weinkoop Show is awesome. I was actually the first guest. You were. And I'm actually, I hate to say, I'm going to be the last guest. Somewhat. Yes, because this is actually, now last week, we had a Joel Weinkoop Show where I gave a thank you out to all my sponsors, like Mark Ford from Lions uh, Kill Productions. And I uh, thank Glenn over at Target Printing and Copying. And uh, Ryan from... Um, uh, Bay Auto Wholesale, mm -hmm. and now we have a new sponsor, and that is Pete. We're going to be meeting him a little a little later for from Heroes Haven, which is this place. Cool. Now, but tell the folks, well, they know if they've been watching, but tell them a little about what the Joel Weinkoop Show was. The Joel Weinkoop Show was, it was almost, well, Ed, well we, we don't want to say any names, but, you know, let's say a, a newer version of a Johnny Carson kind of deal. He would sit there, interview people, they would show clips, but it was mainly for local actors to really help us all out and that's kindness of his heart he would do that because really nobody has to do it but he does it because he's a good guy it's like my brother no I, I'm a horrible guy I just needed people to put on the show no really actually Anthony's right in part I, I wanted to have a TV show but I also wanted to have I wanted to have you know we want I wanted to have the actors on that are doing stuff in the industry like you're saying and uh, and and as far as the, like um, even had Don Wells on which is a lot of fun Marianne from uh, Gilligan's Island. Marianne from the oh. yep and, and had Judy on from Lost in Space and they both look fantastic still they look like they, they did when they were on the shows awesome. they look great yes from back in 68 and 69 uh we've had jerry allen on here who's a stuntman who worked on bonanza and batman and a lot of the uh james bond james movies, bond movies. Uh, dukes of hazard uh he was the one that would jump the general lee and did a lot of work on there um, we've had you on there. We had Mike Christopher. Mike on. Christopher. You've yep. had Jamie Lee. Mike was Christopher was the uh, main Hair Christian Zombie from Dawn of the Dead. Hair Christian Zombie. Yeah. Yep. J Jamie Lee. We had on. Uh, Jamie Lee's done a couple things for, and uh, even Nick Cuddy's been on the Nick show Cuddy. too. He's also a, a independent film movie producer and a good friend of ours. Yep, a good friend of ours. We worked with him on Dark Dimensions along with uh, John Lewis. Mm -hmm. John Lewis. Um, who else have we had on the show? Uh, or who else have I had on the show? Ken Anthony. Uh, yep. Ken. Ken, Ken Anthony. Anthony. And Rich Keen. Rich Keen. They're they're doing a lot of producing. Uh, Ken, I've already talked to him about something. I'm going to kind of let you introduce it here as we move along in the show here. What's going on? But Ken's going to be working with us in the future. I've already talked to him about doing some stuff. And uh, we have had Anthony. There have been, I believe, uh, 34 episodes of the Joel Weinkoop Show. That's two and a half seasons. Oh, that's good. Now. Anthony, here's the thing. I could have continued to do the Joel Weinkoop show with the interviews and such, and I got a lot of people on my Facebook account, my regular emails, just my phone blows up with people going, hey, I want to be on the show, I want to come on and talk about my, about the movie I'm doing, because a, a lot of filmmakers, movie makers here in the Tampa Bay area, and um, a lot of them have contacted me and said, hey, I want to have clips from my show, and, and I wanted to do this, but I just thought... Myself as an actor, I never kind of wanted to be a talk show host. I just want to act. Yeah. And so why don't you tell the folks what I am going to be doing next and you and I are going to be doing now. You are actually writing a new series. It's going to be a nice half-hour series. Name is? The Other Side. The Other Side. So far, it's called Joel Weinkoop's The Other Side. The Other Side. Two guys, just think of... What kind of time cop? Uh, well, kind, of, kind of like time cop. They're temporal police. Temporal police. Okay. Yeah, and there's alternate Earths all rotating at, at different, you know, <laughs> the, the the wordage velocities or whatever, velocities. and uh, they're all out of sync. But occasionally, what has happened in 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 our show is there's like 85 criminals from our time mm -hmm. have escaped off of our Earth into an into these alternate Earths, and it is our job as these temporal police to capture these guys and send them back to the other side. And you'll have to find out if we catch them or not, because we're not going to tell you anything. That's right. 
It'll be like Batman and Robin. It'll be cliffhanger series. No, it probably right. won't. Be. <laughs> but I mean, we're we're doing this because it's a lot of fun as actors. And, and when I wrote this stuff, I'm not taking it really serious. It's not like I'm Gene Roddenberry running things past NASA and going, <laughs> "Okay, can you really transport people?" And NASA was right there with Gene Roddenberry. Go, yeah. If you give us, you know, a thousand years, we'll be able to do something yeah. like that. And it, but the communicators came from there and phasers, and we've got all this stuff that actually works. But I'm just not taking that serious. It's just we're going to have a lot of fun with it. And we're, we're going to have some comedy. It's going to be a you know like kind of a if you can if you can say serious kind of story, uh, kind of sci-fi, kind of like maybe supernatural or how about time tunnel? Time tunnel. And you mentioned Time Cop with Jean Claude Van Damme. Jean Claude Van Damme. He would go back in time. Ours is you know crisscrossing across these alternate realities. That's right. Um, I also I, I'm a big comic fan, so I took a lot from the Crisis on the Infinite Earths. There was uh, Earth, Earth Prime, Earth One, Earth Two, Earth Three, and they all rotated on a different frequency outside of each other and all the heroes had crossed over into different times and basically we're kind of, you, you really can't come up with anything new. No, it's just so hard because there's so much, there's so much different genres out there that yeah. it's like hard to come up with something that's an original, original, so. Yeah. You just got to go with what comes to mind and just do it, like we're going to do this, this is going to be a great series. I'm uh, excited. I, and I think it'll be a lot of fun and now you're tell us about uh, well, I don't even know how much I've told you about it, but, but your character, tell them, tell them a little bit about what your character, what you know. My character, from what I know, um, the way we meet is I come through a portal. Right. And that's from, how we... From the other side. From the other side. Our and, Earth, our, our Earth yep, that we and exist Our on. Earth that we are on now. And uh, we just meet from there and, you know, at first there's a little somewhat chemistry, but not, you know, there's a little, I don't know, how would you put it? It's kind of like, it's, it's almost like uh, uh, like I'm a father, like, yeah. kind of a father figure, I am, you're like you're a rookie. Like I'm a rookie. Yes, that's, you're, that's you're, the word I was looking for. Yeah, like yeah, I'm a yeah. rookie and I just walked in and you're going to give me some training and you're going to teach me the ways of how everything works in this world and you know, it's just... It's like, where were you yesterday morning? Uh, you were supposed to report to me at 9 a.m. Why do you have your weapon out? Put it away. Put it away. I was just playing in the water, you know? Just Listen to me. Are you going to take this job serious or not? I am serious. Now listen, we're talking about temporal police. Do you know what that is? It's one second you're here, Davis, and the next second you're over there. You're on the other side. This is what you've been working at all this time. How long have you been on the force? Nearly 10 years. 10 years. And it's time to make a move. You're moving into temporal police. You're working underneath me. I want you to follow the rules. Do you understand? One of these days, you'll have that badge. Does that mean anything to you? Yeah, it does. I've stepped out before. I've been doing it all along. I've been yeah. making these trips back and forth to alternate worlds and stuff. And when this escape happened, that's when they said they were putting a team together. And then that's when you come in. Just, just like any uh, like, like a movie, like uh, The Rookie with Clint Eastwood and... Uh, Oh my gosh, Charlie Sheen. We Charlie Sheen. We worked Charlie Sheen we were into Charlie this. Sheen. Charlie Sheen. Charlie, Charlie Sheen. Brother. We love you, we're, man. Yeah, we're not going to use any of your copyright phrases, but yes, he was in The Rookie. <laughs> and uh, when he came in, Clint Eastwood was like, there's no way. Well, we're going to kind of do the same thing. But that's almost every cop movie where a rookie comes in. Chuck Norris was like when, uh, what's his name, came in and Lone Wolf McQuaid, he goes, forget it, Captain, I work alone. That's right. And we're, we're, like I said, we're not trying to do anything new. We're two actors. We're trying to have some fun. And we want to entertain you, and we hope that's what the show does. We hope it does, and I think it will be very entertaining. I think they will like it very much. It's going to be awesome. You're going to laugh. Uh, we'll make them cry, too. What they, Should we make them cry, yeah, too? we'll make them cry. We'll, we'll make we'll... them laugh. We'll make them just have a good time. Just a nice sit there and just pop some popcorn and, and, and watch it. And action. And action. A we're lot gonna have, We're going to have fight scenes. A lot of action. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna fight, and and they don't use guns; they use weapons. And so when, when they, when they take weapons. these, yes, when they take these guys out and send them back to the other side. So yes. Hold it. Turn around. Look, you're coming with me. You're going back. Why? Because you're not Davis, and I'm sending you back to the other side. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Get it out of me! Get it out of me!
basically what we're doing, what, what I want to do as a filmmaker is shoot something I can do myself where I don't have to bring a gigantic crew in, where I don't have to wait for three, four, five, six weeks of special effects. I have to shoot these things. We want to bring them to you every Sunday night at 9 p.m. We have to shoot 12 shows. This is what we want to do. And unless you have a million dollar budget, Anthony, these things cannot be accomplished. Well, let me see. I think my credit card has have you about got a million quarter dollars? of a mil. I have a quarter of a mil. If he has a quarter of a million, we're going to give, bring you big effects. <laughs> but if he doesn't, I don't think he does, we're just going to do the best we can. We'll do the best we can and, we'll, yes. and we will still entertain you and you yes. will still love it like if it was just a regular TV show. Yes, so don't watch Dexter, watch us. No, that's, right. that's why they make DVRs and VCRs. You can DVR Dexter and, and watch us and, and, and all the other stuff. Make sure you and, watch, and watch the show. Watch that's right. Live. It's Joel Weinkoop's The Other Side. Anthony, I'm going to cut you loose because we got to do some other stuff, but I'm going to be back later with Pete, the owner of Heroes Haven, is going to be here with me. And also my wife, Kathy Weinkoop, who actually plays our boss. Oh, okay. She's going to be our boss. She's the one we report to. You know how James She's Bond, your boss now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> and you know how James Bond would, um, he'd always go into Monty Penny. Yeah. Yes, kind of like that, you know. Okay. She, and she didn't really send them out of missions. Kathy's going to actually be sending us out of the missions. And Pete is the whole store, the reason for the whole Heroes Haven store. Well, one, actually, it's kind of cool because we are kind of, yeah, they're temporal police, but they're also kind of superhero, superhero-ish. So we got Heroes Haven as a background, which I think is kind of cool. That's awesome. To begin with, I yeah. Like and then... So Pete's actually the actual agent, but what his cover is, is just he buys his comic book shop for us to work out of. Now, if, when we go into the back of the comic shop, that's, that's picked up somewhere else. It's uh, underground labyrinth where we work and everything. This is just our cover here. So Pete yep. is the agent, keeps it running. He comes in, actually buys the comic shop from the actual comic owner. That'll be in the first in the first show and then we report to Kathy and she's the one that gives us the files and say you gotta track down these guys, they gotta be sent back, this is what's going on. And occasionally I just thought it would be fun to have some our our heroes interact with earthly things going on. I got a couple scripts with the bank robbery. Yeah. And and I'm ignoring it and, and you wanna help because you get lost in all this comic book stuff. You're amazed with Batman and and um, let's give them a, a, that little preview we were talking about. We hop in the car and what do you do? Turbine to powers. Oh, what is it? Atomic battery. Oh, atomic yeah. battery. Turbine to powers. Atomic batteries, turbine to power. Now I'm screwing See, up. See, now I'm screwing up. I, I, I'm a big <laughs> Tetman fan and I can't memorize it. Atomic <laughs> batteries to power. Turbines Turbine to speed. speed. Ready to move Ready out. Ready to move out. You're going to say that I'm going to look right. at you and I'm going to go, really? You're watching way too much TV. <laughs> our concept is this earth doesn't have a lot of TV. Or right. Our earth doesn't have a lot of TV programming. And you're just fascinated by superheroes and television and what's going on in this world so much that sometimes I can't get your mind into going after the bad guys because you want to try on costumes and you want to be a superhero and stuff like that. So when a crisis does happen on the earth by itself, which the actual police would take care of, you want to stick your nose in it, so we're going to do a couple episodes where we actually go after bad guys and stuff. That's kind of awesome. like the police would. Yeah, and then when nice. the police arrive, we disappear. So. And watch out because there are going to be a lot of special guests, yeah. a lot of people, and you'll watch. It's going to be very good. Yes, we're going to have people like Julianne and Ken Anthony. and Ken Anthony. Um, Trish Cheney. Yep. Uh, Billy Badass. Billy Badass. Well, we got to put Billy Badass. I know. We have to do that. So, yeah, so stick around. We're going to have some more interviews. Uh, Anthony and I are done here for a minute, but we're going to leave you with a couple, uh, some clips from Joel Weinkoop's The Other, the other side. side. It's coming up next on The Joel Weinkoop Show. I got nothing. We got to serve this. There's nobody here. What are we going to do? Yeah. What? Aurora, right now, we're trying to serve something now. Atomic batteries of power, turbines of speed, ready to move out. <laughs> really? You are watching way too much TV here. Now strap yourself in. It's a bitch going into temporal space. Joel Weinkoop Show, we're back. Hope you enjoyed the couple of clips there. I am here with the owner of Heroes Haven, Mr. Pete.
Carbonero? Mm -hmm. Did yep. I say that right? You sure did. Cool. Nailed it. All right. Now, what, Pete, when I came to you, what did you think about this? I came to you and, and said I'm doing a, kind of a little sci-fi thing about these temporal police officers, and I wanted to use the shop in it. Were you kind of like, oh, it sounds crazy? Were you like, oh, that No, cool. I uh, actually thought it sounded really cool. I really liked the idea. Uh, I like the idea of the shop definitely being part of the set, and uh, I think it's going to be great. It's going to be good stuff. Now you're also, I've, I offered you a, a, a role in this as the actual, mm -hmm. one of our temporal police officer agents. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to be a hard role for me to play because I'm actually playing the owner of the shop. And in, in real life, I'm the owner of the shop. So I don't know how I'm going to pull this <laughs> one off, but uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Cool. Now you're actually, because we're going to have an actual scene where on this alternate plane of existence, on this alternate Earth, mm -hmm. uh, our characters have come here to to get these guys that are they've escaped from our Earth and they're coming over here. Now, whether they're bad guys or good guys or found a way to get over here, really doesn't matter. They're, they're not, not allowed to be, to be over here. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. So if they're like, dude, I just you know I came over here and I started a new life and I got married and I love it here. I got a good job. Dude, doesn't matter. Doesn't you're matter. out of here. Yeah. Out of here. Yeah. Yeah. You come over here and you're starting crimes and you're killing people. Dude, you're out of yeah. here. Yep. So it doesn't matter. But so yeah, we're gonna have the whole front of Heroes Haven. It's mm -hmm. gonna be in um, in the episodes, and uh, we'll actually show us coming in here. And then we've dubbed the Mustang the Phantom Cruiser mm -hmm. because it races out, and when it leaves, it just evaporates. Phase out because it's going into temporal space. So yeah, I think I think it'll be a lot of fun. We're gonna be shooting be here. Mm -hmm. We have one of the characters, Anthony Wayne, mm -hmm. is gonna be in. The, in the realm that we come from, in our alternate Earth, there, there aren't superheroes in comic books. and There might be TV, but they're not cool TV shows like ours. So he's right, just right. he's enthralled by television shows with Batman. And, mm -hmm. and, and then he loves these comics. He doesn't understand what, you know, Greenland, oh, these guys are in cool costumes. Can we be those guys? So I think the whole thing will be kind of neat because they are kind of like a, like a superheroes. They just don't have these costumes right. and stuff. Right. And... Yeah, I think it'll be a lot of fun. We'll be That'll shooting be right here in the shop, and you're going to take part of it. And you mm -hmm. got some employees, I think, that are going to be in it, yep. too, that we're going to yep. put in there. We'll see. We'll see how they work out. So, all right. Yeah. And as far as it airing on television, we're also going to be airing it on the website. Oh, that'll be great. Yep. Yeah, yep. put it up on the website. So if you guys cool. want to miss it and want to check it out, it'll be there. Cool. Plus, I'll put them up on YouTube, as, as I've done there all the Joel shows once they've... And it's going, to repeat, it's going to be on Sunday nights and Monday nights. Mm -hmm. So, which is which is very cool too, yes. and then we'll I'll, I'll get it up to YouTube. You'll have it on your website, mm -hmm. so people can see it. You can advertise it here in the shop. Yep. You guys, people are getting yep. comics or whatever. There's a sure to set the, the DVR. Show. Yep. Or just don't set the DVR and watch it. Just or set, watch the, it set the DVR yep. for Dexter and all the other shows. There you go. And watch. There you go. Watch the other side. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Well, and tell us a little bit about your shop. How long have you been here now with Heroes? Uh, well, David? we just moved into this location in January. Um, I've been the owner of the store for about a year now. Um, and, and this location is pretty good. Um, we're on Gun Highway, and um, we seem to be getting a lot of walk-in traffic, and uh, we're really building up a reputation as uh, a shop that cares about its customers and uh, tries to find what they need. Cool. Very awesome. So come take a look at Heroes Haven. Yeah. Come check us out. All right, and we're going to go back to some clips from the other side and other things, and um, we'll both be seeing you very soon. Take it easy. All right, take care. Bye -bye. Hey, 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 what's going on? How's it going? Well, how you doing? Just going here to Heroes Haven. Check out the, the latest Iron Man. There's Iron Man and Spider-Man team-ups. Going to check it out. I like the Punisher and Batman stuff. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, speaking of awesome, did you hear about that new show, uh, Joel Weinkoop's... Joel um, Weinkoop's The Other Side. The Other Side, yeah. Sunday nights. Yeah, at 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock. I'm pretty sure it's 9 o'clock. It sounds pretty cool, man. It's going to be... Uh, I think it's on, what, Verizon Channel 30. Verizon, Bright House. 9.50. Bright House 950. 950 and yep. Comcast. On what channel? 20? I think it's 20. Yep, Comcast Channel 20. So Bright House 950, Verizon Channel 30, and Comcast Channel 20 on Sunday nights at 9. And it repeats on Monday. So if you miss it on Sunday, you can watch it on Monday night on Bright House 949 or Verizon Channel 36. Now, if you're a real fan, you watch it both days. Yeah, because I mean, there's going to be lots of stuff in there. There's going to yeah. be like, there's going to be like, yeah, karate in there. And yeah, yeah. Punching and stuff, and there's gonna be chicks will be in there. Woo, chicks! I know like, you like I the like chicks. Them. I know. Yeah. Calm down. Calm down. They're hotties, man. They're hotties. But yeah, I think everybody's gonna like it. I think there's there's some humor in there. There's some, you know, they got some comedy going on. They got action, fight scenes, you know, chicks, and you know, I just think it's gonna be really cool. And a lot of it's gonna be take place here at Heroes Haven. Heroes Haven is an awesome place, man. I was in there, and it is awesome. They got a ton of stuff in there. I love it. Well, man, we should go in here. But, yeah, that's going to be hot. I think both of us should get together next Sunday night and check it out. Joel Weinkoop's, uh, what? 
The other side. The other side, yeah. You can't forget. It's, the it's, other side. I know it. The other, And it's the other side, I guess, because they're like, what are they? They're like temporal police officers? They're like temporal police officers that come from the other side. To What's another? the other side? Where's the other? Is it another, like another Earth, like well, an alternate Earth? It's something? like an alternate Earth, but it's the other side. But it's not this side. It's the other side. Oh, like Crisis on Infinite Earths, which brings us back to that Heroes Haven. Back. That's right. Cool. Well, good man. Let's go check out. Let's some go comics. check out some stuff, man. Spider Man and Iron Man. That'll be Batman. cool. Batman. Yeah, and Batman. Ah, <laughs> oh, get too old for this crap. Why couldn't we just take the car? I told you. We need the element of surprise. We come racing in here at the Phantom Cruiser. Everybody on the block's gonna see us. I'd rather take the car. Yeah, I know you would. Listen, this guy's kind of an old friend of mine, Aban Sewell. Uh, I'm gonna sneak around the back, maybe morph in that way. Uh, you cover the front, all right? Maybe I'll see some chicks. Would you get your mind off the girls for five minutes and concentrate on the job at hand, rookie? I know. I know what you're going to say. I'm married. Hey. Just do your job. I know there's some chicks out here. Chicks here. Got to do what the boss says. Watch the fruit. Watch the door. Let's guard the front. Aban Sewell? What do you want? How'd you get in here? Come on, Aban. It's time to go home. Aban? Aban who? No, 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 no. My name is Tim Thomerson. <laughs> Tim Thomerson? Oh, you trance anybody lately, Mr. Thomerson? Look, Aban, it's time to go home, all right? We can do this the hard way, or we can do it the easy way. I prefer to take you back myself. Come on, man. I have a wife, grandchildren, house, two cars. They call them cars here, you know. Yeah, I know they call them cars. Come on, Aubin. It's time to go home. You knew it was only a matter of time before we caught up with you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. But at least have a beer with me. Can't have any beer. I'm on duty. Oh, what's this on duty crap? Come on, one beer ain't going to kill you. Come on. All right, one beer, and then I'm taking you home. Sure. Okay, okay. There you go. You're a tough bastard to find, you know? We've been searching six months for you. It's time to go home. Well, if I leave, what is my family going to do without me? What am I going to do without my family? I mean, I'll tell you the same thing I told another 20 guys that I brought back from this place. You should have thought of that before you came over, before you found the wormhole. Here's the old times. I'm sorry it's got to be this way, but this is my job. Think of it as you had a little vacation. Now it's time to go home. Very little. Ah, oh, come on, man. Give me a break. I'll give you a break, all right. Please tell me you got him. I got him. Oh, yeah. All right, look. It's been enough excitement for me today. Why don't we call it a day? How about we get a pizza? I'm hungry. Now that, my friend, is a good idea. Best idea you've had all week. 
Pepperoni? Oh, pepperoni, now we're talking. You gotta kick your butt? I'm getting old, let's just say that. Oh, hey man, how's it hey, going? How, 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 are how, how are you? Doing? Wait, did you hear about that new show? What, Joel Weinkoop's The Other Side? Yeah, that one! I like it. Man. I, I heard it's cool. Yeah, it's gonna be on, I think, uh, Sunday nights on Verizon 30 at 9 o'clock and Bright House. If you got Bright House, it's on 950. And Comcast Channel 20. Comcast Channel 20. You know yeah. what? I might watch it on Comcast Channel 20. Cool. And then it's gonna repeat on Monday nights. It's on, I believe it's on Bright House on 949 and um, Verizon Channel 36. I'll watch it on Verizon Channel 36. What'd you hear about it? What's it about? I, I, you know what? We can't give too many details because then people won't watch. Well, but just me and you. Pretend the camera's not there. We're acting. <laughs> no, we're not doing this for the camera. This is like... Rolling and action. <laughs> Roll action. Rolling. No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry, okay. You should have thought of that before you came over. You should have thought of that before you came over, before you made the... I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> But that was pretty, that was pretty close up to there. Let's do one more like. Now buckle up. The trip in the slipstream is something. One. Recording. And action. Dude, there's a sander here, man. I cannot concentrate with that. Now buckle up. Be <laughs> Rolling. Action. The turbine's about to forget. Rolling! Action! You jumped your gun! Now strap yourself in. The jump into. Rolling. Action! What was it? Automatic powers to be. <laughs> Rolling and action. Oh, I'm getting too old for this crap. You know, why don't we just bring the car? We can't use the car. We need the element of surprise. We can't come racing up in the Phantom Cruiser. Everybody on the block will see us. I'd rather be in the car. Oh. Listen, these guys are going to go right to the middle of the shot! <laughs>